Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to need uh, some of your advice. So as some of you may know, I own an Apple iPod Touch 4th generation, and I plan on upgrading it to an Android smartphone. Now, the reasons why I'm upgrading. Um, I'm not an Apple fan, and I'm not a fan of iOS, and uh, the specs on the iPod Touch 4th generation are subpar, um, an 800 megahertz processor and a two and 256 megabytes of RAM is not very good, and so in my opinion, um, it's not very fast. So, um, I plan on uh, getting an Android smartphone and just not using the data plan or the calling or texting, so I would not have. Um, a cellular plan. I would just use Wi-Fi only, just as an iPod Touch. And um, my first option is the HTC Inspire 4G. Now, this is in a, originally an AT&T phone, um, but I would get it unlocked on Amazon here for 165. Uh, tell me in the comments if you think that's a good deal or not. Um, it's an older phone. It was uh, announced in 2011. Um, Super LCD touchscreen, uh, 480 by 800 pixels. It's a 4.3 inch screen, 217 pixels per inch, which is, I think, decent. Not as good as the iPod Touch, but uh, that's fine. Um, Gorilla Glass. It does come with a card slot which is something I really want because, of course, Apple doesn't put that in their products. Um, 4 gigabytes internal storage, 768 megabytes of RAM, which is a pretty significant improvement over the 256 megabytes of the iPod Touch 4th generation. Of course, I wouldn't be using uh, GPRS or Edge or any of that. Um, 8 megapixel camera, autofocus dual LED flash, which is also a significant improvement over the 0 0.7 megapixel, not autofocus, no flash camera of the iPod Touch. Um, 720p, same as the iPod, so that means I still, I'll still be able to make HD videos for you guys. Um, Android 2.3 Gingerbread with HTC Sense 3.0. Um, a little bit old, but that's okay. Qualcomm Snapdragon 1 GHz Scorpion processor. Single core. Um, Adreno 205 GPU. Um, of course, it has all of the usual sensors and messaging, all that. Um, 1230 milliamp hour battery. And as I said earlier, it is $165 on Amazon Unlocked. And it does get 3.6 out of 5 stars. So my other option is the HTC Incredible S, which is a very similar phone to the HTC Inspire 4G, also released in 2011, uh, same touchscreen, same uh, pixel, uh, same resolution, smaller screen size though, 4, four inches instead of 4.3 inches. Um, this only has 1 gigabyte of internal, still has the card slot though. And it also has the same amount of RAM, 768 megabytes. Um, same 8 megapixel camera and same uh, 720p uh, video recording. The Incredible S does have a secondary 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, while the HTC Inspire 4G does not have a front facing camera at all. Um, this does come with. Uh, version 2.2 Froyo, upgradable 2.3, and then upgradable to 4.0, which is another improvement over the Inspire 4G. Same exact processor, the 1 gigahertz Scorpion, same GPU, same sensors, a little bit bigger battery, uh, 1450 milliamp hours, and it is about 200 new on Amazon. About 140 used and about 160 refurbished. And I was thinking about getting the refurbished. 
Um, I've never actually bought anything on Amazon before. Um, so I don't know how their service is, their customer service, or how they are when you, if you need to return something. Um, so, but this gets 4.3 out of 5 stars, which is a slightly better rating than the Inspire 4G. Here's the pictures of the device. Pictures of the HTC Inspire 4G. Now, personally, I like the looks of the Inspire 4G better than the looks of the uh, Incredible S, just because I don't like that raised um, backing of the Incredible S. So, so, so let me know what you think about that. Which one you think looks better? Um, but I think the Inspire S has more of what I like. Yeah, I'm really torn between these two devices. The HTC Incredible S and the HTC Inspire 4G. Um, so I would appreciate it, appreciate it if you uh, let me know what phone you prefer in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see ya.